こんにちは。It's Rina and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna work out our inner thighs and the side glutes to correct our pelvis position and reduce the width of this trotan t o r m a j o r s By the way, do you guys know where the trotan t o r m a j o r s at in your body? It's actually one of the bones that you can also touch between your pelvis and the legs. And these trotan t o r m a j o r s tend to get wider and wider super easily if you don't pay attention from your daily lives. For instance, if you have many hours sitting down while crossing your legs, your pelvis is gonna get distorted and of course, trotan t o r m a j o r s gets wider and wider. Also, if you're standing with one leg, obviously this bone gets wider and moving outwards. And as a result, your lower body gets bigger and looks fatty because of the lack of the usage of your inner thighs and the side glutes, but more pressures on your outer thighs. So, again, today we're gonna work out specifically our inner thighs and the side glutes while focusing on the Proper portion of your pelvis to tone up the entire lower body, especially this core area. Alright, l whenever you're ready, let's begin. Alright, so the first exercise of today is the wide squat. So point your toes and knees outward, and you're just gonna drop your hips straight down. Now, make sure your both feet are on the same line. Make sure one foot doesn't go front or back, but straight in line. Alright, l let's begin. Make sure to drop your hip down straight, your back straight. If you have a mirror in front or on the side, you can also always check your posture to make sure your back is straightened and your pelvis is facing forward. Alright, inhale down and exhale up. Make sure to try to feel your inner thighs because this is the part that we are training right now. Here we go. Now we're gonna take on heels off the mat. I know this is super unbalanced. But make sure to you put your weight on your thumb and always keep squeezing your abs to maintain the balance. We're gonna do the wide squat. Here we go, we got this. Inhale down, exhale up. Make sure to straighten your knees when you come to the top and feel your inner thighs. Again, keep squeezing your abs, relax on your shoulders so that you can make a balance. Alright, next we're gonna do side step squat. So take one foot to the side, make sure your knee bend it forward, and then back to the center, and switch your legs. We're gonna feel our inner thighs. Here we go. Inhale down, exhale up. No rush, but make sure you're each step doing the proper position. Of your pelvis and your posture, and drop your hip as low as you can. Here we go. Squat down and up. You 
can take your, you can lean forward a little bit, but all the way to your back is straightened, and all the way to keep squeezing your abs. Inhale down, exhale up.
All right, now next we're just gonna take one leg, bend your one leg and take your knee inward. You don't need to bend your knees so much, but slightly bend it and put the other foot on top of that knee and just push it down so that you can feel your side glutes to side thigh, outer thigh. Switch the leg as well. with a proper portion of your pelvis. If you liked this video, please don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!